Hello, this is Paul Higgins and this is Paul Higgins Photography. So, a little bit different today. Anyway, what I wanted to do was a really quick video on using in, uh, instant Instax camera film in a Rollicord Twin Lens Reflex camera. So, let's get started. So, what do you need? Well, you need an Instax camera, like this, and you need a some kind of 120 millimeter, a 120 format camera. Uh, so I've got this old roller cord, which is really old. So, um, so we're going to use that. All right. So how do you do this? All right. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take um, one of the, um, and I'm saying um a lot, <laughs> one of the pieces of film from your Instax camera and put it into the uh, twin lens reflex. So here's uh, here's what the cartridges look like. Uh, point here you need to do this in the dark okay so what you do first is get everything into a chain dark room changing bag or in the darkness of your house at night and get your insects camera open it up and it'll look like this so what you need to do is you need to take one of these pieces of film out of the camera so the easiest way to do that is where it says don't push just push and it'll slide out. So take this out very carefully. And this is the side that the uh, light must hit. Uh, just a quick explanation of the film. So this is the, if you like, the negative side. This is the side that has the uh, the image on it. This is a little pouch that has the chemicals. And when you when you take the picture, there's rollers that squidge the material all over the uh, negative side, and then the picture appears. So, once you've got your film out of your um, cartridge, you can put this back in the camera or leave it in the dark room or whatever you want to do. Uh, next step is to open your 120 or whatever medium format camera is. So here's this one. So, when we open it up, this film needs to go in with this facing to the lens. So that way around. And what I do is I do them upside down because when they eject out, they'll be the right way up. So what I do here is um, you need to clearly you need to do this in the dark too. I tend to just make it so that the rollers are just touching there. And I can do this in the dark by sight and then just close that down. And then you can take it out. Next thing you do is you need to expose the film. And the way we do that is quite straightforward. You just go outside and take a picture. But... Um, what I use, uh, what I do to, is I use one of these little guys, which is a, uh, a light meter, and the um, ISO setting for this film is 800 AS, 800 ISO or 800 ASA. So plug those information into the cat into the light meter. Take the exposure, look at the little dial, and then set the details on your camera. If it's what if it's a manual exposure, if it's just one of those uh, cheaper twin lens reflex cameras that doesn't have settings, then you just need a reasonably uh, grey overcast day to take a picture. So you take your picture, get back into your little dark room, and um, here are some where some of the tip, my tips come in. So the f first tip is these um, standard cartridges are very very difficult to get film in and out. Of, well, to get the film back into. So, because what you're going to do is you're going to put it back in here, and then you're going to put it back in the camera, and then you're going to take a picture, uh, and I'll show you what we do uh, when we get there. But uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little plastic lip here on this, um, on, and which makes it very, very difficult to get the film back in. So one thing you can do is, uh, when you take the film out, clearly in the dark again, you need to make sure the film is the other way up, and that the pouch is at the top of the of the thing so two ways of getting the film back in one you can you can eject another piece of film just very slightly like that and then you can use that to get the film in like this a little bit like I say it's a little bit tricky a little bit fiddly but that's one way of doing it the other way I've, I'd use if I can find it is this little guy and what I did here was you can actually take this uh, little plastic um, flap off. So I just peeled it off. And you can see there, I just peeled it off. And that makes it very easy to just stick that in. So once you've done this, you put this back in the camera. And then you need to develop it. The way you do that, 
switch the camera on you need to cover this up and you just press this and it will eject the will eject the piece of film out and you're good to go so pretty straightforward really I should just take my notes to make sure I've covered everything um, uh, yes okay so there is one other thing uh, when you open the camera it will reset this counter on the back so you have to remember that whatever um, film counting you're on uh, will not be accurate okay so final little uh, final little uh, comment here um, I thought I'd be click slick and use this which is a night vision um, setup but if you try and use that, what happens is you get this. So be very careful about um, light getting in because um, I took several, I tried this several times and uh, you, uh, the, you have to be in complete darkness. So hopefully that was handy. And uh, my name is Paul Higgins and this is Paul Higgins Photography. Happy snapping.